Once you play an auto harp in public, there's no reason to be ashamed or embarrassed about anything. I got started in, I don't know what started, when does anybody start in music? You know, they open their mouths and something comes out. About 10 years ago, Pauline Oliveros had this idea. Her compositions mostly involve people improvising together in a group. And she wanted to make sure that a very neglected segment of the populace, which are the severely disabled people, could also participate. These are people who can't play in a drum circle because they can't play, they can't lift their arms or uh, are just not built for that kind of work. She came up with this idea and instigated this program called AUMI, A-U-M-I, which she pronounced OMI. The basic idea is that AUMI uses video tracking. It uh, takes, uh, analyzes successive frames of video to discover where the motion is in that video and uses that motion to uh, trigger sounds in a number of ways. One way is to you know, like push like this ball-like cursor across the screen that hits boxes, and when it does, it plays the sound. Because she was already using my apps and lived in the same city, um, she approached me uh, to move AMI to iPhones and iPads. So it does the same kind of work uh, but in your pocket or with a little stand. It went from being a paid app, although it wasn't that expensive, to being a free app. People can just have access to this for their projects and their you know, therapy or whatever they want to use it for. Because it's tracking motion, you don't even have to have a human on the other side of that motion. You can track clouds or traffic or rivers or cats or goldfish or whatever you like. It has uh, a number of sounds built into it. Some of them are more conventional melodic sounds, you know, about 10 of them, which can make for some really interesting side effects. Hi there. It's a beautiful day in November. I pass for normal.